Mr. President, I rise today to talk about the oil spill in the Gulf of Mexico and the energy legislation that may be on the floor this week. For more than three months, Mr. President, the American people have watched our nation's greatest environmental disaster unfold. This tragic accident has cost lives. The spill threatens jobs and communities throughout the region. Shrimpers, fishermen, small business owners, restaurant and hotel owners, rig workers, everyone has been impacted. In the last couple of weeks, we have gotten some rare good news. First, the new containment cap has temporarily plugged the hole. Second, the new cap survived the recent storm in the Gulf. Hopefully, next week, BP will finish drilling two relief wells and permanently plug the leak. From this disaster, we have learned that our country and the federal government were not prepared to deal with an emergency of this magnitude. Now we have an opportunity to fix the system. We need to implement reforms that prevent these accidents in the future and improve the ability to respond. A tragedy of this magnitude merits a serious bipartisan response from this body and from this country. Now, Congress has two options. Number one is to fix the problem. The second is to score political victories that don't help the Gulf. My friends on the other side of the aisle appear committed to using this crisis to try to score political points. The majority leader announced that he plans to unveil his energy legislation later today. It reportedly will contain oil spill provisions as well as broader energy legislation. The bill is being written behind closed doors. Not in a committee, not in front of the American people, not on C-SPAN, but behind closed doors. And it will likely come directly to the floor later this week without ever going to a Senate committee. I think it's a fair question to ask right now. What's going to be in the bill? Why can't we address the oil spill in an open way, in a transparent way? Are senators going to be allowed to offer amendments, amendments that would improve the bill and increase bipartisan support? Republicans have introduced an oil spill alternative. The Republican bill includes several important provisions. First, the Republican bill reforms the system for managing offshore oil and gas exploration. It enhances safety requirements, and it improves spill response capacity. The Republican bill requires that our national oil spill contingency plans include a clear, accountable chain of command. Now that way, the American people know who is in charge and who is making decisions on the ground and on the water. Next, the Republican bill reforms oil spill liability. The bill increases liability limits based on risk factors, such as water depth, and a company's previous history. It also sets up a system, Mr. President, where claims beyond the liability cap are paid for by all of the companies drilling offshore. This liability system ensures those impacted are compensated. Unlike some other proposals out there, this proposal does not unfairly discriminate against small and medium-sized companies that are exploring for energy in the Gulf. The Republican bill also lifts the overly broad drilling moratorium that's been imposed by the Obama administration. Rather than imposing a blanket moratorium that threatens thousands of jobs in the Gulf, the Republican bill would lift the moratorium for companies that have complied with the new safety and inspection requirements. This provision stops the administration from compounding the economic damage that is currently occurring in the Gulf. Importantly, the Republican bill also establishes a truly unbiased, bipartisan oil spill commission to investigate the spill. The oil spill commission that was appointed by the president <coughs> is stacked stacked with people who philosophically oppose offshore exploration. Ideology aside, Mr. President, the, member of the, President's, the members of the President's Oil Spill Commission lack the essential technical expertise on offshore drilling. There is no expert on his commission on petroleum engineering. 
there is no expert on the president's commission on rig safety having this sort of expertise will help the fact finding mission it will also strengthen it will strengthen the quality of the commission's recommendations it is imperative that the oil spill commission has credibility the republican bill helps those in the gulf it will save much needed jobs and it will improve our ability to explore for offshore oil and gas well into the future it is unfortunate that the majority is only spending a few days on the situation in the gulf the text of the bill that this body is supposed to be debating later this week that the american people should have an ability to see and to comment on the text of the bill is not yet publicly available how can this body how can the american people have a serious debate on a bill in less than a week especially if no one yet knows what happens to be in the bill this is a crisis that has lasted for almost a hundred days the greatest environmental disaster in the history of our country yet the senate is rushing to complete a bill that no one has seen that continues to be written behind closed doors and expected to complete it by the end of the week sadly the majority lacks transparency and this lack of transparency by the majority follows months of poor response efforts by bp and by this administration the companies involved in the spill played the blame game while oil executives pointed fingers at one another the administration struggled to get a handle on the situation the response was delayed and the response was disorganized the response lacked direction and the response lacked decisiveness there was no clear chain of command state and local officials have repeatedly repeatedly expressed frustration with the cleanup efforts it's not just a lack of resources mr president in some cases federal approval stands in the way of local cleanup efforts newsweek magazine had a recent article entitled the mire next time it says bp and federal officials have conjured parts of their oil spill response plan from scratch and changed them by the day often failing it says failing to act with the speed and decisiveness and emergency demands over this weekend politico reported that the white quote the white house dispatched political and communications aides to the gulf coast states let me repeat that mr president over the weekend political reported the white house dispatched political and communications aides to the gulf coast states according to politico the effort came about after the white house grew concerned over political damage not environmental damage after the white house grew concerned over political damage from not having a permanent presence in the gulf coast states now campaign staffers might help the white house contain its political disaster but they are not going to solve the actual environmental and economic disaster mr president instead of worrying about political problems the white house should be encouraging the senate to work in a bipartisan way on legislation that will help prevent future accidents and to improve our federal response capacity our top priority should be stopping the leak and containing the spill we must also make sure that those impacted are compensated and the claims process must be fair and fast the majority should devote more than a few days to fixing the problems in the gulf of mexico so i urge my colleagues on the other side of the aisle to work with us let us come together to pass bipartisan oil spill legislation that's what the american people want that's what the american people deserve thank you mr president i yield the floor